823 now after months of waiting we know the uh, start date for the Audubon Aquarium and Insectarium when they will reopen their doors. Audubon says that will happen just in time for the summer season, June 8th. Zach Lemon with the Audubon Nature Institute uh, will be very happy ab about that as he's able to display his bugs and he joins us with a couple of interesting creatures this morning. It's, it's been a great week. Uh, we just got the keys, so we've been starting to put <laughs> soil in our vivariums, our animal exhibits, and we've set up our little containment room where we get to work on everything behind the scenes, and it's, it's coming together. So you, you have a large stick insect here. Yeah, I They're have a pair. Very impressive antlers, by the way. Or <laughs> what do you call those? We call Antenna, these antennas. Antenna? Antennas, okay. or antennae. Yeah. <laughs> so, the, and in this species... It's, it's live television. Sometimes you say really stupid stuff, but antennae. All right, please. The, so well, I hope I don't say any stupid no, stuff. No, I'll leave it to you. you. you, you can, thank you. That, well, that won't be hard. <laughs> this, this is called a jungle nymph, and it's a Southeast Asian walking stick. The females, and this may not impress you if you're used to eating large meals, but at, at two ounces and change, it's one of the heavier insects hmm. in the world. That's actually, I think I read, one of the two or three largest in the world? Well, large in length, large in weight. Okay. I'm talking about weight, right? Gotcha. And, right. and so, there, yes, yeah, she's really huge compared to the male, and these are both adults. So you've got this slender brown male, this large green female, and not a lot of really good hypotheses to explain why we get this extreme size dimorphism. It's and and cool. he can fly, she cannot. That is correct. Is, are you worried about him flying? I'm not out? worried about him flying. Uh, there are a lot of insects that will fly to lights. These don't seem to be attracted <laughs> okay. to lights. Well, you've got great lights Because here. we don't have any he's, lights in here. He's now. not going to go anywhere. <laughs> he's not going to go anywhere. What kind of, how, where are they? Asia? Southeast, Sa Southeast Asia? Asia, yeah. We, we get these primarily from Malaysia, but, but they extend around Indonesia a little bit more broadly, and uh, we feed them this plant, which is red tip. Okay, and how are they doing in the wild? Do we? Know? Oh, uh, I do not know actually how their population is. But they're not, they are, they're not that difficult to get, apparently. Well, the good news is they breed very readily in captivity, so okay. we don't need to take wild ones in order to put them in zoos and gotcha. museums and tell people how awesome bugs are. Speaking of insectariums and uh, aquariums, we have just a minute left, but uh, I know you're very excited that June 8th is the day that this sort of joint facility now comes together. Yeah, and it happens to be World Oceans Day, so the aquarium staff is all excited about that nice little tie-in, and we've got more birds in the Amazon, we've got our touch pool, uh, and, and at the insectarium we've got an interactive screen where it'll look like uh, fireflies are landing on you, and all and, and of it's really just exciting. Th forgive me, a really amazing immersive experience when you go inside. Yes. Digital effects and big screens and you'll feel like you're walking among the bugs. I mean, it's really we, we have this, cool. this, this wonderful little uh, space where you're going to feel like you're, you're in there with them and they're all, they're all so fascinating. So, you know, you went out and caught the fish or the, or your, the people a generation ago. How, how do you get your insects? Because you don't keep insects alive. We, we have a lab where we rear and breed okay. a lot of what we show off. We do a little bit of wild collecting, but it's mostly local. I, I don't get paid to go to Borneo every other month. It'd be really cool, but I don't. And then we can trade with other zoos and museums, and we can work with vendors, people in other parts of the world who breed or collect wild bugs. Fascinating stuff, as always. Zoo to do tickets are on sale. I want to make sure we remind everybody of that. Don't miss June, that party. June 8th for the, the bug shop. June, June 8th for the insects and the aquarium. April 28th for Zoo to do. There you go. Zach Lemon, thanks as always. Thank you. And they, they didn't fly off. Nope. <laughs>